In the Mekong River, as it passes by the quiet town of Krache in northeast Cambodia, a remarkable animal is fighting for survival. Here, the last of the Mekong Irrawaddy dolphins live in nine deep pools running north to the Lao border. This small population are survivors from a time when the Mekong was home to perhaps thousands of river dolphins. In 2006, you know, time that there's uh, uh, alarming. You know, there was alarming of uh, dolphin death and uh, dolphin extinction by many NGO because of we found almost every day dead young dolphin and uh, no one know that what is happened because we, we we couldn't see any scar of uh, the gillnet and this is become a big debate within um, Cambodia you know scientists and uh, specialists you know. In the end, you know, I've, I'm, I'm the one who claimed that 99% all the dead dolphin because caused by gill net. The destructive method of gill netting ensnares not only fish, but other animals as well. The decline of river dolphins dates back to the 1970s and the horrors of the Khmer Rouge era. You know, when they came into uh, the, uh, the Mekong River and to the freshwater system in Cambodia, they spread everywhere, you know, in the Great Lake and throughout the Mekong. And as we reportedly that there is uh, many thousand of them. And then unluckily in 1977, uh, when the, the Khmer Rouge need, you know, to regenerate again the industrial fish fishing, you know, for supplying food to the people, but they don't have fuel. They don't have oil, motorized oil, motor oil. That's why they decide, you know, to kill the dolphin to extract for oil. As reported by the local uh, fishermen in that period, I think that more than a thousand has been killed in the Great Lake. Worldwide, there are three populations of Irrawaddy dolphins living in rivers, in Burma, Indonesia and Cambodia, and all are endangered. Estimates for the total number of dolphins surviving in the Mekong vary, but there is no doubt that there are perilously few dolphins left. WWF has been doing population estimates uh, in the last few years, and our most recent estimates are that there are about 70 adult or identifiable animals in the river at the end of 2008. There's some disagreement about the exact numbers, but whether it be 70 animals or whether it be 130 animals, the mortalities have averaged about 13 known mortalities per year over the last eight years. And so it's pretty clear that with that kind of mortality rate, this population is in serious trouble. Since 2004, there has been an enforced ban on gill netting, yet dolphin deaths have continued. Recently, another cause for dolphin mortality has been identified, one that may have serious implications for the people of the Mekong. So we've sent off 12 carcasses for testing and got 11 back with disease. So I would certainly say disease is definitely a factor contributing to the mortality of these dolphins. When you start getting dolphins dying and you know, you're measuring contaminants and you're getting various contaminants, DDT, PCBs, uh, mercury, coming up in these guys and you know, coming up in levels with two week old dolphins that you would consider quite dangerous, you have to start looking at the quality of this water and where this pollution is coming from. I guess one of the, the crucial things is dolphins are sentinels of the environment, or what we call sentinels, which are they bio indicators of exactly what's going on in the environment. If things like this are affecting the dolphins in the river, they're affecting the people alongside the river, and everything is interconnected. The final nail in the coffin may be plans currently under consideration for hydropower dams that would destroy all dolphin habitat from Krache to Lao. 
again, to get back to the bottom line regarding dolphins, it's hard for me to conclude that um, the dams would not have a very significant, perhaps, um, sort of final impact that, that could extinguish this population in the Mekong, and I don't think anyone wants to see that. Every day, tourists from all over the world come to Crache to visit the dolphins. But unless something is done quickly, this amazing animal could be lost from the Mekong forever. We really have to start doing something immediately because we don't have very long with um, these dolphins at all. I think they're, they're starting to decline quite drastically at the moment and the mortality rate hasn't ceased in the last three years. So I think we've probably only got five to ten years left um, with this population. So really if we don't start taking measures pretty immediately to do something, we're going to lose them.